Good Friday evening, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. Weather for Weather Geeks. What a windy, warm afternoon we had. And then the story is going to become the chill over the weekend. And I think a lot of us are going to be remarking about seeing big, fat, wet snowflakes on Monday. We'll break it all down in this video. Let's first talk about today's wind. It even uh, exceeded expectations late this afternoon. We had uh, some expectations of gusts around 45, and we had that for a while, but then... Uh, we did have in between hours, between the 5 and 6 o'clock hours, uh, we had a gust of 56 miles per hour at the Youngstown Warren Airport. This was at 517 uh, early this evening. So that was pretty impressive. That's one of the strongest wind gusts I've seen at the airport in a while. We might have had something close to that at one point last year, but I'm not 100% certain on that. It's also a very dry air mass. Basically what we had going on today was uh, a very well, what we call well mixed atmosphere. On a standard day in which the sun is out and there's nothing real unusual going on, uh, air parcels kind of mix together from the ground up to maybe five or 6,000 feet. And so air parcels rise, air parcels descend, the atmosphere gets kind of mixed. Today we uh, were mixing to a much, much higher level where the air is super dry and there's a lot of wind energy. And so some of that wind energy was brought down to the surface. Some of that dry air was brought down to the surface. And so not only was it very windy and, and pretty warm this afternoon, but relative humidity values bottomed out in the teens in much of the area this afternoon. If this were a, if we were in a drought or even just a, an abnormally dry situation, we would, have been talking, we would have been talking about a high fire danger today. But of course we've had a decent amount of rain so far this spring. So. The ground dried out a lot today, but uh, we were not in the kind of situation in which we were too worried about any sort of uh, of brush fires and things like that because, uh, yeah, everything's still kind of kind of moist after all the wet weather we've had over the last few months. All right, today is April the 15th. We're now about halfway through April, which means we're about halfway through meteorological spring, the months of March, April, and May. Our average high ticks up to 60 today. We'll gain another 7 degrees by the end of the month, so on May the 1st, our average high is 67. So the averages are climbing quickly, the days are getting longer, spring is doing its thing, although it's not going to feel like it over the next few days. Today kind of played out in an opposite fashion compared to yesterday. Yesterday started with clouds and wet weather, ended with sunshine. Today started with sunshine, then clouds started to filter in more as we got into the afternoon today. It was a good looking day, you just uh, really, you know, you had to kind of secure yourself uh, with the wind, especially here in, in like downtown Youngstown where we have some taller buildings and we get a lot of wind tunnel effects here uh, downtown. It was it was kind of tough walking into the building earlier on uh, this afternoon. Looks like we're going to stay dry this evening, not only here locally, but up in Cleveland for the Guardians home opener, which is underway as of the, the uh, start of this recording. But uh, that will change overnight. Now, some of this wet weather will initially encounter that very dry air and kind of get eaten up. But eventually, the atmosphere from top down will saturate. Rain will start falling late tonight. And once the rain gets here, this light rain is going to be with us for several hours. So it'll start raining in the middle of the night. And if you uh, have to be up early on a Saturday morning, you're going to encounter some light rain here and there. Nothing all that heavy. No thunder and lightning with this. And uh, rain chances will stay pretty elevated, it looks like, through much of the morning and even into the first hour or two of the afternoon, we have that chance of at least a little bit of rain. Notice the rain chances decrease then fairly rapidly as we go deeper into the afternoon. You get these hourly forecasts anytime on the Storm Tracker 21 app. Tap on hourly down at the bottom. All right, so uh, some late day sunshine tomorrow, but temperatures will struggle, um, mostly in the 40s for our Saturday. Might see a couple of snowflakes then late Saturday night and probably prior to daybreak Sunday morning. If you're out and about early Sunday morning, again, especially maybe in our northern viewing area, especially, uh, you might see a couple of snowflakes out there with a little lake enhancement going on. The rest of Easter Sunday, pretty uneventful, just very chilly, despite a decent amount of sun for the afternoon. Let's talk about Monday. Been some uh, trends with our modeling, uh, more and more over the last 24 hours, uh, suggesting that some wet snow uh, does seem pretty likely on Monday. I think this will be kind of a rain-snow mix, at times just a chilly rain. But uh, some wet snowflakes will be around, and especially maybe around midday, early afternoon. I guess I wouldn't be surprised if some of this stuck to some elevated surfaces, trees, um, other non-paved surfaces. I don't think we'll have any problems on the roads with, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> 
finishing up uh, this this cold. Uh, I don't think we'll have many problems on the roads Monday with air temperatures in the upper 30s to around 40. Road temperatures will be also fairly warm. And, you know, it's it's late April, and it has to be really coming down hard to stick to the roads at this time of the year during the day. Um, so I'm not anticipating many impacts from this, but I think a lot of people are going to be kind of grumpy on Monday when they see maybe snow trying to stick to their windshield and certainly, again, maybe some uh, elevated surfaces uh, such as tree uh, branches and tree limbs. Not a very nice day on Monday. and I, In fact, I think we'll see a, kind of a rain-snow mix at times, more showery in nature, all the way into Tuesday. Uh, so... Not great to start next week. Not great this weekend either. 50 on Saturday, 46 on Sunday. Now, I mentioned, you know, no problems probably on the roads on Monday, but could someone get a slushy accumulation out of this here and there? I can't rule that out. A couple of our models here would suggest even an inch or so worth of snow. Now, again, this would be mostly non-paved surfaces, probably not on sidewalks and roads and things like that. But, uh, it's possible that maybe we get enough to, to technically measure on uh, on your uh, deck furniture and things like that, especially midday, early afternoon on Monday. So chilly early next week. We'll start to rebound later in the week and by next weekend <clears throat> and even into the following week. It does not look as cold. In fact, after struggling to get out of the 40s this weekend, next weekend, especially next Sunday, we might be well up into the 70s. We might even flirt with 80 in nine days, a week from this coming Sunday. So we have some things to look forward to in the medium range, not a lot of great things to look forward to over the next few days with some unseasonably chilly weather. That'll do it for me tonight. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching all this week. Hope you and yours have a great Easter holiday weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday. Just a reminder, I've got a new Facebook page, Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm is where you can find me on Facebook. That'll replace the old page, which I lost access to due to some inadvertent setting changes on my part. Uh, and so uh, we're hoping to grow the audience on my uh, new Facebook page. You can also search for Eric Wilhelm WFMJ on Facebook and find me there. All right. Have a great one, everyone. I'll see you back here on Monday.